the sound of clanging bars and the stench of stale sweat and desperation, this is the reality that the almost football club owner Chris Kirshner now faces. Once a man with everything, now reduced to possibly just a number in the system. It wasn't long before Kirshner's plans for Derby County turned sour. His financial dealings once touted as savvy are now coming out as possibly fraudulent. And as the charges are piling up, so is the evidence against him. Mr Kirshner is accused of defrauding investors and misleading his staff. But the evidence is not good. If Kirshner is found guilty on all charges, the football world in the East Midlands will breathe another sigh of relief. Had he been successful in his bid to take over Derby County in 2022, who knows where the club would be today? It was a lucky escape for the Rams, who are now focused on their future without the shadow of Kirshner looming over them. But for the American businessman, the future looks bleak as he begins his journey in the courts. The only thing he has left in football is the memory of what could have been. In a stunning twist of events, Chris Kirshner's life has taken a dramatic turn. 12 months ago, he was on the cusp of being hailed as the saviour of Derby County Football Club. But now he finds himself in the clutches of the law. The winds of fate have taken a cruel turn as Kirchner, the man who almost took over the ownership of the famous old club, has been charged with fraud in the United States. If convicted, he could face up to 20 years in prison. A damning fate for a man who once held the hopes and dreams of thousands of fans in his hands. The story of Kirchner is one of ambition and greed, a tale of a man who coveted power and wealth. As a contender in the race to become the new owner of Derby County, that came after the club went into administration. However, his dreams were short-lived and he withdrew from the process in June 2022, leaving the door open for local businessman and lifelong Derby fan David Klaus to rescue the club. But the story doesn't end there. More recently, Kirchner's Texas home was raided by the FBI in a stunning operation that could rival the greatest Hollywood heist films. He has been charged with fraudulent activity relating to the software company he co-founded, Slink.io, which allegedly involved him offering and selling more than $67 million of securities to multiple investors, $28 million of which he then misappropriated for personal gain. In a separate twist of fate, the Department of Justice charged Kirchner with wire fraud and misappropriation of $20 million from the same company. Kirchner's alleged fraudulent behavior has caused outrage among Slink investors and employees who have been left feeling betrayed and let down. And as the case involves the world watchers with bated breath, Sheldon L. Pollock, Associated Director of the SEC's New York Regional Office, issued a stern warning to other Woodbury fraudsters, stating that the Enforcement Division remains laser-focused on uncovering and rooting out such brazen fraud and charging individuals who seek to induce investors to buy securities through lies and deception. US Attorney Leah Simonton added to the sentiment, stating, this defendant flaunted his apparent wealth while allegedly diverted millions from company coffers into his private bank account. Slink investors and employees are undoubtedly outraged, and we sympathize. We look forward to holding Mr. Kirchner accountable in a federal court. The story of Chris Kirchner is a cautionary tale of greed, ambition, and deception. It's a reminder that the consequences of fraudulent behavior can be severe and unforgiving. As the drama unfolds, the victims of Kirchner's alleged fraud look to receive the justice they deserve, and Derby County fans and the club now seem in safe hands after a lucky escape. My final question before you like and subscribe is, should Quantuma, the administrators who oversaw the proposed takeover, be held accountable for the long, drawn-out process that clearly had an impact on the football club in 2022? Maybe another video in that one. In the meantime, I'd like to thank you for watching to the end. The video YouTube is recommending looks a great fit for you. I'll see you there.